Okay, so with this question, they're asking us to bisect the line AB into five equal parts. Now I'm just running you through this, but when it says five parts, that's just the number I picked out of my head. Okay, the amount of parts is going to be it, it's the same steps apply regardless of the amount of parts. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go to one end of our line. It doesn't matter. We have A and B at both ends. We're going to go to one end. I'm going to go to A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an angle line away from A. It doesn't matter what angle it's at, and it doesn't matter what length it is. Just draw the line. We're then going to take our compass. This is a very important step. We're going to take our compass and we're going to set it to a random distance. The distance doesn't matter, but what does matter is that it doesn't change. So whatever you choose, make sure it stays the same. We're going to take our compass, and what we're going to do is we're going to mark a number of intervals along this line we've just drawn, the angle line. Now the number of intervals that we mark is dependent on the question. This is asking for five equal parts. So that means that I have to mark off five times along my angle line. And I'm marking with the compass each time. And as you can see, I have five of them done there. What we then have to do is go to the very last one that I marked off, so the fifth one, and join it back to the end of my line AB. So the end of that is point B. Okay. Now try and hold your set squares in a similar position to I, th that I have, lads, just so you, you can kind of follow it. So the very last point that I marked off, the fifth one, join it back to point B. What we have to do now is we have to replicate that angle from the other four points that I marked off. So this angle here from the last one to point B has to be replicated from those other four points along the line. To do that, it's not, I can't just go guessing it because that's not accurate enough. So what we have to do is we line it up first of all, and then we get our second set square and we rest it up against the first one. Okay. What we can do now is we can slide it along and as you can see, the angle here doesn't change. It just moves up. What that allows us to do is to draw the same angle from the other four points that I marked off. Now when you draw those lines, they're all going to go up towards the line AB. They're going to cut it. And where they cut it is a division on your line. And at the end of it, you should have one, two, three, four, five divisions. Okay? So that'll give you five equal parts. If a question asked you to split it up into seven parts, all you would do differently is you would do seven marks along this line. And again, join the last one to your end point and do exactly the same process.